Well, folks, do we have an interesting phenomenon going on in the market right now? No, I'm not talking about my hair, okay? We have a very interesting thing happening in the market today, and I want to share exactly what's going on here and my perspective on this, because if you didn't see, the Russell had a decent day up today, up about 0.27%. Meanwhile, you had a lot of stocks, uh, had some great days. I mean, look at Avant today, it was up 22%. Tattoo Chef was up 2%. Honest was up 3.5% roughly. You had Corsair Gaming up over 2%. So you had a lot of stocks making some pretty good upward moves here today, right? Now, meanwhile, you've got some folks that are very, um, well, we'll describe it in a second, okay? But this person says, the question is, will these gains hold or just sell off the next day as usual, says that individual. Right here, Brett says, selling off 10% tomorrow, that's how it goes, not used to any green days, okay? And so here we are in this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you're not already. Here we are. We have a decent day in the market, right? And you get some some nice upward moves in some stocks here today. And the Nasdaq was down today, if I recall, finished red. I think the Dow finished red and the S P five hundred finished red. And you got this group of stocks, the small caps that had a pretty darn good day, right? And you got it, folks saying uh, I don't buy it. You know, it's just going to go back down tomorrow or next week or or whatever, right? And that's the sort of market we're in right now. And I want to talk people through this a little bit, okay? Now, first off, I think it's kind of natural for some folks to have, you know, th these sorts of thoughts, right? Especially if you're somewhat newer to the market, newer to the market, meaning you've been doing this for less than two years on a, on a high level, right? And so if you get very used to something, that's just what you start expecting. And if you, let's say you got in the market in 2020, right? You started taking this stuff serious and you got in the market after the, you know, the big March crash and you bought it in April, May, June. Well, you were trained at that moment that every dip was a huge buy, right? And like, we were just gonna go back up. And then what you saw start playing out is especially in the small cap stocks, right? All these stocks peaked out in either January or February of 2021, right? And then after that, all these stocks started to dip, dip. Now, at first, people are like, oh, it's coming right back, baby. It's coming right back. Lemonade was $188. It drops to $150. People are like, it's going back to $200 plus, okay? And then it just drops again. And next thing you know, it's $120. And then it's $100. And then it's $80. And then it's $60. And then it's $40, right? And it's like, oh, okay. It never, it never came back and it just got devastated. And you go through stock after stock after stock like this. Teladoc was $300 plus back in, what was it, January, February, somewhere around there, right? And Teladoc, when it fir first fell to 270, 250, people were like, baby, that's, that's coming right back. We're, we're going to be, you know, give us a month, and next thing you know, we're going to be at 300 plus again. And then it fell to 200, and like, don't worry, we're, we're still coming back. Then it fell to 175. People were like, oh crap, what's going on here? Then it fell to 125, and then it fell to 100, and then it fell under 100, right? And so now you get folks that are just, uh, you know, they're so used to all these stocks selling off and selling off, they're just, it's become the norm now, right? And so you don't you start to distrust every rally you get in the market. Every and this was even a market rally today. That's the best part of this. This was not even a market rally. The Dow and SP and Nasdaq were all down. The the Russell was barely up. It's just these certain stocks rallied today. And so people just start distrusting. Any move higher, people are like, it's probably just gonna drop. And there's some really good news with that. That is when you know you are very, very close to a bottom in certain stocks. When you start getting this sort of activity and you get so many people, because I see these messages consistently over the last week, including that, that latest video I did here today, where I'm seeing folks just say, yeah, man, nah, it's just going to go back down. It's just going to go back down. Because you're being trained that way. Your brain is being trained that way. It's being formulated that way because every single time these stocks have had a decent day, it's down more the next day, right? And so when you start to get that activity, you're getting much, much closer to a bottom. I can promise you that. That's what happens every single time. And when the thought process for investors is the opposite way, right, where it's like if it just a little dip happens or any sort of dip, it's like, hey, we're going back to all new all-time highs next week, next month. That when you, that's when you know you're, you're at a peak, right, because there's just way too much enthusiasm at a particular time right now. There's no enthusiasm, right? There's no enthusiasm. People are real quiet. Even if they're bullish, even if they're really bullish, people are real quiet right now. I've noticed that recently. Real quiet. Even people that are, that are you know, very, very bullish on the DL, they don't want to say it because they're embarrassed to even say it right now. And they're going to feel like a fool if they come out and they say anything super positive about a stock right now. Like, hey, this stock's going to go to this price by this time next year or over the next two years. People are real quiet right now, real quiet, because they've 
been made to look fools and they can't accept that going through that cycle, right? Not everybody can mentally, I can go through it. Like I have no problem. Like I can get a million views and I don't care. Like, you know, and and judge me off short-term basis. If you want to judge me off short-term basis, I'm like mentally at that place that I don't care, right? I'm going to always say what I believe and I'm never going to be shy about saying it, right? Most people can't. If they have one person on Twitter, you know, they tweeted out something positive about a stock and why they think it's going to some, some, you know, price and somebody says, oh, you, you idiot, look at that stock price now. You posted it the last month. They can't handle that. They break down. They're like, dude, I won't even speak positively about a stock anymore because it really hurt. It hurts them, right? It hurts their feelings. And so a lot of people right now that are bullish on the DL, they're quiet about it. They're real quiet. And they're not going to get loud again until they have enough positive days and enough positive weeks to really start getting back on that bandwagon. Until that happens, they're going to stay quiet. That's the way it works. And if you go back to last year, because there was so much positivity, everybody was really, really loud. I read the comments. I'm in the, I'm in these, uh, you know, communities and whatnot. And everybody was very, very vocal on why their stock was going to go up another 100% in 2021 and why it was going to go up another 200% in 2021 and, and the call options and posting trades and all that, right? That was that moment in time. And now, you don't you don't see that. There's none of that. Oh, this is the next 10x stock. This is the next. Um, you know, this stock's going to 2x this year or 3x next year. What you don't hear a lot of that now. All of that has died way down now. It's almost non-existent, right? You know, I'm I'm still doing my thing, but I can tell you for the most part. All that type of activity is done, man. That's so far done, it's not even funny. It's kind of like, you know, I always uh, equate some of these um, stock price moves to being in a hurricane, right? And you're in this massive hurricane, and, you know, it's just, let's let's say it's just this epic hurricane, right? And it's going by, right? And you're in it, and you're just getting sloshed around. And at first, you're like, oh, maybe it'll be over soon. And then it just keeps going because this is some sort of massive hurricane. You're like, oh, my gosh, is this thing ever going to end? And then you get to the eye of the hurricane. And you're like, oh, finally it ended. Woo! Thank goodness, okay? And then all of a sudden, you realize, oh, no, that's just, (laughs) you know, we're only maybe halfway there. And then you start getting pounded again. And then you just start, you're you're getting, you know, so nailed in this dang hurricane that you start thinking, oh, it's never going to be over, right? It's never going to be over. And, um, you know, we're just going to keep, the the rain's just going to keep coming, right? The wind's just going to keep coming. And uh, that's the way these folks, that's the way a lot of investors are thinking. And I don't think... I don't look at I don't look at um, you know folks that are thinking like this as um, you know uh, like a, like a lower being or something like that. I think it's natural. Like I said, I think it's natural if you're being if you're being trained that way. And I've gone through markets before where you start thinking it's just it's just you know it's done so right because you get so many negative days in a, in a row and you're down five percent on this stock and ten percent here and fifteen percent here and twenty percent there and you're like oh my gosh man every time i buy i buy the every time i buy the dip it goes lower right every time i buy the dip it goes lower and, and so when you had that consistently happen time after time after time again what are you going to start thinking well it's just going to keep happening Because that's the way our brains work. And if we see a pattern that keeps unfolding a certain way, and it keeps unfolding a certain way, we think that that pattern is going to keep going. That's the way it is. And so if you, if every time you buy the dip in, in this stock or that stock or that stock or that stock, right, and it goes down, let's say you, let's say Teladoc, right? Let's say it had dropped to 200 and you start a position like, well, it's down from 300 to 200. I think it's going to be a $500 stock in three years from now, five years from now. Okay. So you start your position at 200 and then it drops to 170 and you buy some more. Then it drops to 150 and you buy some more. And then it drops to 130 and you buy some more. And then it drops to 110 and you buy some more. And next thing you know, it's trading at $90 a share. What are you going to start thinking? Well, it's just going to go lower and lower because heck, if you start buying at 200 and you're buying at 90, it's down 50% plus from where you started buying, right? And so every single time, it's dropped, it's dropped more. And so you start thinking in, in your, your head, right? You start saying, well, if I'm buying now, it's just going to drop more. And then it's going to drop more. And then it's going to drop more. And who's to say Teladoc's not going to be a $70 in a week from now or a month from now? And then $50, right? And so that's the way you start thinking. Now, this also simultaneously leads to people getting really, really picky around pricing. If we go back to the end of 2020 and the beginning part of 2021, People got way too not picky about pricing. It was just buy whatever at whatever price because 
it going to the moon, right? And that's the sort of market we are in at that particular time. And now we're getting in this market where people are getting real shy about buying the dip because they're like, well, it might just go down more. So why do I need to buy today? Because heck, I bought the dip the last seven times it went down and it just went down more. Why do I need to buy today? I'll wait three weeks. It's going to be down more and I'll pick up shares then or I'll wait three months and it'll be down more and I'll pick up shares then. And so you start to get people real, real picky around pricing, right? And here's the here's bottom line when it comes to that. Where do you think the stock's going long term, right? First off, do you know how to judge a stock and value a stock off, you know, uh, long term trajectories, right? And if you don't know how to do that, watch uh, some videos I have on the YouTube channel, like, uh, you know, how I find my next million dollar stock. That's a really good video that goes really in depth. It's like an hour long video. Um, obviously, in my private stock group, I have the course curriculums and things like that 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 go very into detail on on how you run projections on a company long term. But at the end of the day, like if you think a stock, you know, you're buying a stock, let's say the stock price is $10 today and you think it's going to be $50 stock in five years from now, gosh, buy the stock. Who cares if it goes down to nine? You can buy more or eight or seven or whatever, right? You know what I mean? Like, like at the end of the day, if you think it's really that much of a deal steal and it's down huge and it has massive upside potential, you buy, you don't get picky, especially when you're, you're, you know, it's already down substantially from wherever you started buying it at, right? If you don't think there's much upside in that stock, then don't never buy it in the first place. It's not worth buying, right? If there's not much upside, there was never you should never have bought it, right? Think about that for a moment. And if it is a great deal and you think it's got a huge upside potential, then what does it make sense to do? Buy, 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 you know? And so I just want to talk you guys through this because it's something I'm seeing out there and uh, I, I actually like this because this, is, this makes me feel much more comfortable. I'm so much more comfortable right now uh, going into 2022 than I was 2021 because 2021, I was very uncomfortable. It was hype. It was excitement. Look at the stocks I was putting a ton of money in. Walgreens, JP Morgan, the most boring of the boring companies because you couldn't find them any good deals in the market, right? And now going into 22. I'm rubbing my hands. I'm loving this sort of market. I feel extremely comfortable. I feel like my downside's extremely limited. I see great deals all over the place. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, especially for small caps specifically, not large caps, uh, but small caps. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. And, um, you know, yeah, I'm ready to go. That's all I'll say about that. Much love as always, guys. I hope uh, this is a good uh, little mindset video for you and have a great day.